The first of the, the stories we're going to be mentioning today, so unfortunately, is the passing of uh, Robin Burley, uh, an absolute legend of Roman archaeology um, on Hadrian's Wall. So he worked just up the road from where I live, and it's a, it's a genuine shame. He passed away on Wednesday, August the 29th, and uh, it was announced on the Vindolanda blog. Indeed, I, mean, I think we have to say I think uh, the age of I think eighty three. So, mm. um, you know, it, it was a, a, a long life and a, and a rich life in terms of achievements. Mm -hmm. I, I think, uh, as well as marking uh, Robin Burley's passing, we, we need to put it in context. The, the Burley family um, are re are really sort of um, Hadrian's Wall scholarship aristocracy. <laughs> Almost. It's the, um, although, although it's fair to it's fair to say it says on the blog post here. Uh, that um, he was a proud Northumbrian and socialist. I'm sure he wouldn't like to be called an aristocrat. <laughs> the, 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 the aristocracy of the working class. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I, 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 absolutely. I take that on board completely. The, 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 I think the thing is that um, you know, Robin Burley's father, the late Professor Eric Burley, was a doyen of Hadrian's Wall studies and study of the Roman army even before World War II. Mm -hmm. And um, so. A, a key Burley figure in my, in my uh, university department in Dur at Durham, um, Eric Burley, that, that is, yeah. A absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and and so Robin Burley was born into in, into this role, if you like. It, it, they're almost, it, it, it's probably Britain's only archaeological dynasty because Robin Burley's son, Andrew, is now a director of uh, the Vindolanda Trust. Yeah, um, yeah. So, you know, it, it's now the third generation who are, who are working that site and working in the field of, the Roman army and, and, and Hadrian's Wall. It's a remarkable family history. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, obviously we'll, we'll link to the blog post below, but a, a brief excerpt here says, uh, he was an inspirational and generous leader with boundless energy who encouraged thousands of wonderful volunteers from all walks of life to join him in his excavations at the Vindolanda for over 30 years. And and I think actually one of, one of my, uh, uh, I suppose, uh, one of my abiding memories of Robin Burley is actually his his tremendous enthusiasm when it came to telling stories about Vindolanda. He was he was a, a key figure in the discovery, recovery, and also the development of the techniques to preserve the Vindolanda letters, uh, which but, the site's but, most famous for, of course. Absolutely, and they continue they continue to find amazing things. Um, we'll come to, actually we'll, if they found something this month. We'll come to that in just a moment. <laughs> um, but, but also, it's it's the way in which he was so infused by the content of those letters and 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 the the everything, right? You know, from the from the military movements of troops and who was on site, all the way down to 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 the the personal minutiae of people's lives. He could he could share this stuff. It, it's so uh, so elegantly, so approachably, and I think this, that that's one of the been one of the great. Uh, one of the great services that he's done archaeology actually is 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 balancing i think high academic uh, standards and high intent but especially when it comes to an internationally recognized monument with being able to to bring it bring it to life for people i'm i'm, I'm with you absolutely on that i i, I never met i've never met any of the uh, uh, burley family unfortunately but uh, i did first visit vindolanda in the late 1970s, probably not not long after the major excavation campaign actually started, mm, but mm. at that point um, they were uh, uh, already working on the excavation of the fort, and it was the excavation was happening live in front of you as a as a visitor. What um, you know, it wasn't shut away behind builders' hoardings or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And they do, but they were also interpreting the site. They had they a reconstruction of the turf wall and the the stone wall of Hadrian's Wall, so you could actually physically see what that you know monument just up the road from where Vindoland is situated actually physically what, what it was like to stand on it mm. or at least an impression of what it was like to stand on it but I think the, the, my biggest takeaway um, when I when I heard this I immediately heard Robin Burley's voice in a number of interviews because it was one of his party pieces um, where he talked about the Vindoland letter which is an intelligence report from the uh, presumably from one group of Roman soldiers to, to headquarters or whatever and it talks about, and, and the words he used were, it, 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 the report used the word bretunculi, and then he said, wretched little Brits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it just encapsulated the, both the, the literal meaning of the letter, but also probably the intent behind it. The, the, it, it was almost like it was a, 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 a term by the American, American soldiers in Vietnam 
referred to Vietnamese uh, soldiers by the you know, racist epithets like gooks. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's a similar sort of military mindset he was implying. I think we were seeing that it was you know it, it was smart interpretation, but it was also very po it was it was very popular and easily e easy to relate to, and so it should be. Yeah, yeah, and and a, 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 a real loss. But but as you say, also. Uh, a wonderful innings, and and what a what a legacy to leave behind. Uh, as you say, the the, the Burleys continue to dig at Vindolanda, and there's there's probably at least another lifetime's worth of of material to go through there. So, um, uh, well, as you say as well, another cache of documents just last year, and then even more recent discoveries than that. Well, well, well oh, sorry, yes, well, actually, on, on sorry, on, on the fourth of August, earlier uh, in earlier in August. Uh, they found uh, early Roman horseshoes, and mm. uh, the, these things are, are beautiful. You have the grips, uh, which have been um, put into the bottom as part of the of the form of the shoe itself, and they look distinctive compared to what we would dis describe as being a horseshoe or, or recognise as a horseshoe. Uh, this stuff continues to come out of the ground, and 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 yeah, Robin was it was was a key uh, a key factor in. Vindolanda, as a, actually, frankly, as, as a model, as a charitable trust, as an yeah. ongoing excavation, as a self-funding uh, enterprise, for the most part, yeah. uh, being a success, he was a key factor in that. So, uh, rest in peace, and uh, and thank you for thank you, man. yeah, hmm. Ave at Vale, as the Roman army might have said. Absolutely.